Hey Mike, Oceana here with G3 Agency. This is your free website audit for Southwest Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning. Um, basically the idea behind this video is that there's a bunch of people looking for your services in your area, um, but you're not showing up in front of them on Google. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, I want you to be able to, to walk away with this video with the ability to do these things yourself. Um, because I'm not about wasting people's time. If you don't want to work with me, if you would rather do these things yourself, I want you to be able to be, do that. Um, but of course, <laughs> you can think of this as a business card with a bit of oomph, right? So I'm going to show you what you can do. But if you want help with any of this stuff, or um, if you like the idea, but you just don't want to spend the time on it, um, that's where you know you might want to reach out to me and my team and talk about it and we we could see if a business partnership makes sense going forward um, but I don't expect any of that from this video um, my goal is to educate you and um, so here we go uh, the first thing is I would suggest that you add a big click to call phone number here at the top somewhere I know that you've got a click to you've got a call now button which is good um, and I like that you have a text now button it's interesting but um, I would suggest that you, um, oh, I think they're the same number too, aren't they? Um, I would suggest that you make the number visible for people. Uh, it's, it's easier for people to find a phone number when they're looking for it than to find the words call now, because that's not what they're looking for. Um, okay. So the next thing is content. So you're going to want to increase the amount of words on your page for sure. Um, you you have some good words talking about what you do and where you do it, but you're going to want to increase that amount by quite a bit to stay uh, with the competition and get ahead of them. Uh, and then also if I right click on an image and I click save image as I can see that this image was saved as HP button two. <laughs> so um, what's really cool is you can actually resave these images and re upload them as um, but save save them as phrases that people are actually typing into Google when they're looking for your services. Um, and I'll show you those exact phrases actually here in a moment. But first, I'm going to put your website into this tool. So this is a tool that me and my agency use. Uh, it's called Arifs. And it this function that it has that I'm using right now is called the Site Explorer. And I put in your website, and it gives me some key metrics that are really important. So we've got the UR score. This is how trustworthy Google thinks that your web page is, specifically your home page, because that's the page I put into, into here. Um, and then your DR score is how trustworthy your entire website is as a whole. Um, and so you've definitely got way more trust going to your home page than the rest of your site. Um, so how you increase this DR score uh, and how you increase the UR score as well is with referring domains and backlinks. So a backlink, uh, you may already know, but I'm just going to go over just in case. A backlink is any link that goes from another website back to your site. A referring domain is any website that has at least one of those links on it. Um, you want to definitely increase the amount of referring domains that you have. You want to make sure that those links are not just going to your home page, but also to the other pages on your site to be able to create a more well-rounded site, more trustworthy altogether. That's going to help a lot. Um, and then um, you want to make sure that the referring domains that you're getting, basically the websites that have you're, you're, you're going out and saying, hey, will you put a link on your website for me um, that goes to my website? It's going to help me. Um, you want to make sure that those sites are rel uh, they're relevant to you in some way, you know, whether that's because they're another website in your local vicinity, or maybe it's a different carpet cleaner in another area, or um, maybe it's just a, a site that lists businesses. I mean, if it's if it makes sense, it makes sense. But you don't want to just go out and get what's called scammy links where, you know, people will go and say, oh, hey, I can give you 500 backlinks for, you know, 12 bucks. Um, and you go, oh, that sounds great. Well, a lot of those are going to be very low score of quality and um, you're getting scammed. <laughs> Google's not going to like it. You're not going to like it. Um, it's not going to, you're not going to be good. So you want to go out and get good referring domains. Um, and I'll show you, show you what I mean. Um, so you can see here, you actually have quite a good little um, a bit of referring domains here. Uh, you've done a good job here. So like local.yahoo.com, it's got a DR score of 87. That's great. Um, one that's not so great, carpetcleaningclarksville.com. But with just a few of these, that actually is fine. 
Um, you just don't want, you know, a lot of times I go in here and I see like 10 of these zeros in a row and I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> but these are actually decent. You know, having a couple of low scoring ones, especially because this says carpet cleaning in there, that's not bad. So you're doing very well in that. Um, okay, so these are the words that you're going to want to include in your content. You're going to want to save your images as these words. Um, the reason for this is, uh, so I put in carpet and then I cross reference that with Peoria, Tempe, and Chandler. Um, and this is what I get. So I got carpet cleaners, at Peoria, Arizona, 200 people a month are typing this into Google, spelled exactly this way, by the way. Um, down here, you'll see like, uh, let's see, there's carpet cleaning Peoria, same idea, but they said it differently. So there's another 100 people looking for that same service. So you can see how it starts to really add up. And if you can get right in front of people when they're searching this on Google, that is uh, great because then you, they'll come to your website, they'll give you calls, um, they'll become customers. Um, so this key, uh, this right here is probably the most exciting part <laughs> of this. So yeah, sure, there's lots of people searching for it, but um, it's, isn't it difficult to get to the first page of Google? Um, well, this says not. Um, the KD is a, it stands for keyword difficulty. Basically, it's how competitive is it to become, um, uh, to get to the first page of Google. And a three out of a hundred is pretty darn low. <laughs> um, that's very good. Anything under five, really, we, we say go for it. These are great. Um, so we're looking at some really good keywords here. So what do we do now that we've identified, you know, we definitely want to go after this one. Carpet cleaners, Peoria, Arizona. It's perfect. It's what we do. It's where we do it. Low competition, high volume, perfect. And a lot of these are good. Um, uh, really, I mean, just about any of these, with the exception of, you know, like um, oh, carpet weavers, East Peoria, probably, <laughs> really, you're not, you're not a carpet weaver, right? Um, but any of these that are logically good for you are going to be good for you. These are, the, even this eight is not with, not outside of reach. Um, so, and now that we've identified with uh, a web, uh, sorry, a keyword we want to show up for, we type it into Google and we skip past the ads <laughs> and we look at this area right here. This is the map pack. Uh, it's the top three local results for any given word. So for this case, that's obviously for this word here. Um, so in order to show up here, which is a good idea, you definitely want to do that. You're going to want to make sure that your Google My Business listing is up to date and accurate. Specifically, your name, address and phone number is correct. And then you're going to take that info and put it all over different directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages, etc. Um, and each time that your information is listed on one of these directories, it's going to basically be like a vote of confidence telling Google like these guys are legitimate. They really serve this area, and that's going to help to increase your visibility and push you up the results. And if you end up in the top three for any particular search term, you end up on this front page of Google, which is great because people can see your phone number. They can call you right up. They can go to your website. Um, they can definitely interact with you as a business. Um, and then the next place that you want to show up is down here in the organic results. Um, I'm not going to compare you to them. These, this is Yelp, you know, of Yelp, um, it's a directory, so it doesn't make sense to, to compare you to them quite the same, but down here, this is Oxyfresh, this is carpet cleaners. You may recognize them as a competition of yours. Um, so we can actually go ahead and cl click on their site. And this is this, this is the page that's beating us on this, uh, for that word that we want to show up for. So what we want to do is look at their site critically and think, what is it that they're doing right that we could also do? Specifically content, images, and backlinks. So content, do they have lots of words on their page about what they do and where they do it? Yes. So we're going to want to do better than them. We're going to have, want to have more words on our page, but they don't really, I, they don't, I'm not seeing a lot of the exact phrases. There's carpet cleaning Peoria, Arizona, but it was carpet cleaners was the top main, main word. So I probably would have put that up there. Why is it not? It's being so weird today. Um, so, uh, oh. <laughs> sorry, my alarm went off. Um, so then the other thing is the uh, images. Uh, are they saving their images properly so that they take advantage? Apartment.jpg? No, <laughs> that's not saving their images properly. It's not a key phrase. So that's another place that we could do better than them. And then if we put them into Arif's, oh, whoops, 
Hold on. <laughs> Gotta reload this. If we put them in here, we can see their UR score is only 16, which if we go back over to your site, what was your what was your score? 14. So it's not that much higher than yours. Where they're really beating you is their DR score. But that doesn't matter as much. Um, if you have a well-rounded website, if you bring your UR score up to 16 and you also have 16 DR and you've got great content and you've got the backlinks set up properly, and here's the backlinks here, you're going to do fine. Uh, you don't have to beat out their whole site. You really just have to beat out this, the page that you are trying to beat, right? The, the one that's showing up for the word you want to show up for. So uh, that's generally how you do it. If you'd like more information, um, I'd be happy to share it with you. Um, this is my passion. <laughs> um, so I hope that you'll reach out to me. And if you want any help with this stuff, me and my team, we do this day in, day out. And um, we can talk about your business goals and see if we can help you get there. So, all right. Thank you so much. Bye.